everybody. This is Gizmo. Robot King Studios. They're keeping me hostage at home. <laughs> Hello. Don't listen to him, people. He's a liar. We're not keeping him hostage at all. He's keeping us hostage. You know, when we're in the studio, we have lots of issues, lots of problems. One of these problems is keeping Gizmo from drinking all my coffee. The other one is remembering to look at the camera and not myself. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't for the constraints on filming time, this could be a blooper reel. We're not going to think about that right now, and it's not the point. All right, Gizmo, will you bring us in? Wait, you already did. Never mind. <clears throat> now, you remember a short time ago, we gave you the unboxing of Seekers of Slanish? So, what we're going to do today for you is we're going to actually take a look at the Daemonettes, the actual Daemonette infantry units. I'm going to crack this box open right now. We're going to take a look at all that's in here. First things first, get this box out of my way. Now, of course, they give you both your round and your square bases, because some of us play 40K, some of us play fantasy, and some of us just like to model. We're going to get those right out of the way, though. Oh, look at uh, another one of these. You know what I say to do with that? What up? <coughs> Alright, so... The Daemonette box essentially works out to two sprues. I know we had the three sprues in the Seekers of Slanish box. They were very nice sprues. But we only have two sprues here. And now, for a commercial break. Nah, I'm messing with you. Alright. <clears throat> so, in these two wonderful sprues we have here, uh, there are a good number of options, but for the most part, it comes right down to some brass tacks. I mean, your bodies and your legs are pretty much matched up right away to where goes where. That doesn't mean you can't have fun, though, because this is plastic. So, <clears throat> as you can see there, we have these wonderful bodies, these wonderful bodies and legs, and they're absolutely gorgeous, really. Now, the sculpting level on these and the detail and the uh, refinement is actually quite quite nice. And this box allows you to build a total of ten daemonettes, but if you are so inclined to try, I'm sure you could green stuff up some extras or, you know, do whatever. I'm just going to slide this across and just see how beautiful these girls are. We're having a technical difficulty. Alright, now, in the box, <coughs> right on this screw here where you have your bodies and your legs, you do have a uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve heads. Twelve heads for Tandy Demonettes. Now that's already just twelve heads. So <clears throat> you can see you have wonderful options. Now they have. Uh, let's see if I can flip this around so I can show you. Now they have uh, these heads over here, which are these kind of like ponytail, hairy heads. I like the ponytails; they're nice. There's this double ponytail, bone-looking deal going on here. It just screams out to me. Pebbles love Bam Bam. Now, in the center here, we have these slightly more hairy heads. Now, these hairy heads have a lot more hair to them. They kind of have a, a bit of Kemp's to them. They're very nice. They're very classy. But on the end here is the heads I really like. I'm not going to lie. We have the mohawk heads. Well, I well, one mohawk head here. I love these mohawks. To be honest, they're my favorite Daemonette option for the heads. But there's also this here, which is kind of like a triple ponytail mohawk. Also, love it. Two beautiful bald heads. Bald is beautiful. Don't forget it. And then finally, one more kind of hairy head with this really nice big crescent earring. Now these are some lovely ladies. But you already have 12 head options for 10 ladies. So, your Daemonettes are definitely going to be unique, customizable. You're going to have options. Don't be afraid to sculpt them up. Now, over here, on our next screw, uh, we have our two banner choices. 
And this banner is actually really finely detailed. Uh, there's a whole raised symbol of Slaanesh on it. And it's just, it's gorgeous. I like it. We got some claw arm things. Maybe these were demonettes at one point in time. I don't know. Maybe they got mangled. Not sure. Not sure I care. I just know it's beautiful. Over here, uh, the far more plain. So, you know, <clears throat> far more plain, but nonetheless, I like these banners. These kind of scepter style banners. I really do. But this highly sculpted, uh, raised symbol banner, just gorgeous. Now, here we have all ten of our arms, or at least all ten of our basic claw arms, and we also have two different options for these giant scything sword type arms. Now, I love the giant sword arms, to be honest. I wish I had a sprue with just ten sets of these. No, no getting around it. That's far more intimidating. Now, we also have more head options on here, and we also have our, uh, our musician's horn. Beautiful. But, we have yet another mohawk head, so bully for me. Two more of these nice hairy heads. Now, these girls have their mouths gaping open, and I wish you could see that better. Their mouths are gaping open, and frankly, I think they're going to tear a man's eyes out and love it. Over here, uh, this lady, I think, just stuck her finger in an electrical outlet because her hair is everywhere. I'm pretty sure she's related to Einstein. So, you can take a look. I love this head. It's wonderful. She kind of reminds me of the Banshees from Vampire Counts. But then again, she also makes me think I'm going to die very, very soon. Uh, these other two hairy heads are also really nice. And this is really good for your command group if you uh, want very dramatic, very big standout models. So consider these girls for your command group. You will not be sorry. You will not be sorry. But the sprues, as you can see, are... Uh, they're pretty straightforward. There's nothing to worry about, and as Games Workshop always does, they always give us really good details, really good options. I would have liked to have seen more arm options here. If you remember the old metal daemonette, they used to have these wonderful uh, human arms uh, with swords, daggers, things like that. I kind of miss those. I really do. But these new daemonettes, these plastic kits, will boggle the mind. They will boggle the mind, or bottle the mind, as some would say. All your thoughts trapped in a bottle. I will always recommend Daemonettes, because frankly, they may not have the point, the, the punch of your blood letters. They may not have the durability of your plague bearers. They may not have the supreme gut-wrenching horror of horrors, but Daemonettes will lure you, draw you in, and cut you apart. Alright, so we're going to cut right here. Come back to me in a minute. Uh, I'm going to leave a link down at the bottom, so you go ahead and you click on that. Maybe I'll have one